Hello, 631. Hope everybody's doing well. Um, I got just got word that the next few units have been uploaded into the course. So I think um, we have up to, I think, unit five or six now. Uh, so you can uh, feel free and, and jump ahead and see what type of content there is. And I think Rick said that uh, the next remaining last few units will be uploaded either tonight or tomorrow. Um, so that's exciting. Uh, it's finally nice to see um, all of the course content, which is typically on in a Word document. Um, a real messy Word document, and um, our LMS team, they upload that content into Moodle and, uh, and they make it look uh, nice and pretty like, uh, like it does now. But anyways, I'm not, uh, I, I'm, I don't want to talk about Moodle uh, in this uh, post. I want to talk about COVID, and um, I guess I call it my COVID protocol. Uh, COVID's really had an impact on our student body. Um, and I know it's even had an impact on a lot of our faculty as well. Um, a lot of our faculty, they uh, still need to work a certain amount of clinical to, to maintain their, um, their clinical license. Um, so a lot of them have been um, seconded to the front line for, um, for a variety of things COVID related. Now, um, obviously I'm not a nurse, so uh, I, I'm not gonna pretend to be in that boat. But um, I recognize and understand that uh, several of you might be um, in that boat as well. Um, you know, not it's not just COVID right now. It's it's, I guess it's just kind of the, the world climate that we're in. There's a lot of um, things that kind of weigh on our, on our mental health and um, make make things a little bit exhausting sometimes. Um, and so with that said, I just want to recognize that you know what sometimes. Um, MHST 631 uh, is not your priority. Um, you know, sometimes it's not going to be possible to, to get an assignment in um, on the, 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 the due date or the deadline date. Um, and this is a pattern I've seen in the last couple of years um, in our student body. Um, and it's made me uh, rethink um, and restructure my approach to assignment deadlines. Um, you'll see in the course content there, there are... Um, Tar uh, target dates or, d or deadline dates for for assignments but I want to emphasize that those dates are flexible um, they are not set in stone um, if you need a few extra days you can take a few extra days there's no penalty uh, I know you'll read in the in the um, faculty guidelines there's five percent per day or something um, you can kind of throw that out the window we are in obviously um, extraordinary um, times. So uh, all I do ask though is that you just keep me in the loop. Um, I know I've had students in the past where you know you I haven't heard from them and then all of a sudden near the end of the course they ask if they can submit all their assignments because they've had a really really difficult term and that makes it really hard for me. Um, I much prefer uh, we just have an open line of communication so if you're you know, if your kids are home, if you have to keep your kids home uh, because they have the sniffles and you can't send them to school, or if you are working uh, late shifts uh, on the COVID ward, or if just everything is getting too much and that happens sometimes, and um, you know, if you need an extra four or five, six, seven days uh, for a particular assignment, just keep me in the loop and let me know. Um, and I'm not gonna ask any questions. Um, you know, I'll, I'll grant that extension. Um, I just trust that you'll be, um, you know, honest and fair about it and, and don't take advantage of it. Um, but I really don't see the purpose of deadlines. It's a graduate level course. Um, if something's due on uh, June 5th, uh, it shouldn't make a difference if you get it in on June 8th or June 9th. That, that's just totally fine. Um, now, obviously, there are some deadlines around, um, you know, the units where, um, you know, you'll be sent off to do a particular task and then post it to the unit forum. Um, you know, that we do need to try to maintain and adhere to that uh, just for the, um, just to have a successful forum. I mean, I think everybody here is quite experienced in, in our courses and you know that um, uh, the course is only as good as, um, you know, as the uh, instructor me and the, the students uh, in terms of the level of facilitation and the level of engagement. Um, when students are highly engaged, it tends to be a, a more enjoyable and, and more fulfilling course. So, 
yeah, I think I've said uh, what I wanted to say. The, the bottom, uh, I'll just reiterate it again. Uh, keep me in the loop if um, you're going through um, a, a diff difficult times or if you just feel that the course is too much right now and you're, you're not going to get an assignment done in time. And um, just let me know. Um, there's a solution to everything. And, um, and I, I think more importantly, I just want you to be aware and recognize that um, I see you, I hear you, I understand everything that you're going through. Um, you know, uh, us ourselves here, I mean, we've had uh, January and February, kids were home from COVID and Lorraine had COVID uh, as well. I haven't got it yet. Um, but um, yeah, so there, you know, I've experienced those challenges there, but um, I certainly haven't experienced challenges of working on a, on a, a COVID ward or uh, working on the front lines of the healthcare system. So I, I know that's totally different. Um, I recognize that many of you are doing that. And so just um, uh, just trust and, and be, be assured that um, uh, I'm here and um, I want to make this course as, as uh, positive for you as possible, despite everything that's going on around us. So, um, okay, I'll get off my soapbox. That's my COVID protocol. So very, very highly flexible on, on assignment guidelines. All right, everybody, uh, stay tuned. I have a few more, uh, few more posts to come.